Wade Richard. I'm 17 years old. I love God and I love to serve at my church. I particularly love teaching Bible classes, but it wasn't always this way. What are y'all doing this week? My dad's entering some type of break dance competition and my mom's making him go walk. Your dad thinks he's so cool. Why well, your dad doesn't care? It was so I was watching this video online the other day. It's about a bunch of dads singing a song about living the dad life. It's hilarious. You've got to watch it. Yeah, what a loser. Casey? Yeah, Casey. No, help me! God, please help! And you thought God would help you. Do you need help? You didn't do what I said. What? Now you're gonna pay. What are you talking about? I told you there ain't no God. You keep telling everyone about him anyway. You oh! Hey, what's going on there? You trying to hit Hey! Up. Hey, up, 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 up. What's wrong with you? Huh? Yeah, he was just trying to hurt it. Right, you look right yeah. here? Yeah. Okay. Come here. Put your hands off top of your hands. That's what we take on them. Hands right there. Look at me. You understand what you're doing? You know it's wrong? You know that's against the wall? You don't know that's against the wall? You look to be old enough that you know that type of behavior is unacceptable and gets along. Keep your feet spread apart, okay? Keep your eyes, I'm going to check you out. Make sure you don't have any weapons, okay? How old are you? 14. 14 years old? 17. 17? Go. Okay. Alright, keep your eyes. Alright? You're going to be coming with me. Your hands right behind you, nice and easy. Okay, don't walk away from me, all right? Relax. All right. Stop walking. Relax. All right, watch your head. Put your left foot in first. Back. Look away. Look out that window. Lean back. Look out that window. Wade Richards, I hereby sentence you to one year in jail and ten years of probation for two accounts of theft and one account of attempt murder. Case closed. Do you mind if I talk to you? I guess not. I don't really get to talk to that many people around here. Have you ever heard about God? Yeah, I've heard of him. What's he got to do with me? He has a lot to do with you. That night, Preacher opened my eyes to the real truth. I didn't believe in God. In fact, I hated anyone who talked about him. But I was so lonely in that jail cell, that I was willing to listen to anybody talk about anything. Preacher came back every night throughout the rest of my prison stay. After thinking about what Preacher had said, I made it my goal to change my life around and work for God starting the day I got out of prison. Oh, hey, we're the Preacher Man. Well, how's it going, Wade? Oh, I've been doing good, but I kind of need to talk to you about something. What do you want to talk about? I want to talk about getting baptized. I know that I'm ready. I think you're ready too, Wade. Come with me and let's have a talk. No.
not be here tonight If I had to choose It's always the bigger things in life I seem to choose you You can say what you want Believe what you will believe Yeah But I'll take what I want And see what I need to see That's the story of my life. The more I think about it, the more I realize that my life is a perfect example of John 14, 21. Whoever has my commands and obeys them, he is the one who loves me. Had the preacher not came to the jail that day, I more than likely would not have been touching all these lives today. So I thank God every day for sending the preacher down to jail. By touching my life, he has touched many others. Oh, and yes, I do love God with all my heart now. You could say what you want and be.